Chiefs. This would have been de depicted as Lend-Lease to the British in 1942 when they were fighting in North Africa. And their unit was called the Long Range Desert Group, so they were behind the lines in North Africa uh, fighting against the Germans and the Italians. And their primary mission was intelligence gathering. There was a unit behind the lines from September 1940 until the North African campaign ended, which was May 1943. There was units always behind the line. Uh, they used 1942 Chevrolet trucks as their primary unit. They used the Jeeps as command car. The, the captain would be in the front and then he would have a second in command would have another Jeep in the rear. And the patrols were usually uh, five or six vehicles. I've been involved with the history of the Long Range Desert Group. My first vehicle was the primary was the big truck, a ton and a half Chevrolet truck. And then uh, my wife wouldn't ride in the truck because it was uh, uh, right hand drive and the left hand oncoming traffic. So she said, I could do a Jeep. So that's when I got the Jeep and, and, and made it into a command car. I first learned how to drive on a 1946 Chevrolet truck and they look quite similar to the trucks that the unit used. And so that got me one thing into another. And then when I wanted a military vehicle, I said, okay, well that would be a nice vehicle to have. They only made 200 of them and none survived World War II. So I had somebody built so I have the 1942 Chevrolet truck, and then I have the 1942 uh, uh, Jeep. And all the equipment is dated 41, 42, or prior that they would have used. If you notice, there's a big heavy coat over there. <laughs> and when, because the windshield is down, and I wear a funny looking hat, it's called a comfort, comfort cap, that they used in, in World War II. It's kind of like a stocking cap doesn't look as fancy as, or good as this one, but uh, it keeps my head and my ears warm because I don't have much hair on my head. I not only do the vehicles, I do the history of the unit. Not to be, but I'm considered probably an authority and the troopers that served in the unit. I get emails from family members requesting, do you have information on my father, my grandfather, my uncle? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And we'll go into, into some research to find out whether or not they were in the unit. And some of that's, you know, it's kind of like genealogical research. You know, I have uh, thousands of pictures that I've accumulated. Uh, families have sent me pictures. On, uh, on my website, I do a, uh, I have a trooper biography page. I don't know, like I say, it's kind of keeping history alive. You know, it's not just, it's not the vehicles. It's how the vehicle got to where it was and what they used in and on it and everything. So it's World War II history.